those who are here in our uh, chapel of the diocesan shrine of Jesus, the divine word, and those who are joining us in our live streaming. One time I attended a gathering called Singles Encounter of one of the charismatic groups. And in the beginning of the session, we're given a task to introduce ourselves. And in the introduction, probably being creative, they said that you have to answer one question, and that is, how do you want to be remembered? Not a eulogy, of course, because we are still alive. But you know, I found myself scrambling for an adjective, a word, or probably a phrase that I can say that, oh, this is how I want to be remembered. Because, you know, oftentimes we are being introduced, we are being remembered in some occasions. I had this in mind because here we are celebrating two apostles of Jesus, Saint Simon and Saint Jude. And very little was written or were written about them. But though very little, of course, it is somehow important in our celebration and recalling these two important people in the life of the church. One is Simon. He was called a zealot, a zeal, a passion, passionate person. Passion probably in doing many things. And Jude, well, <laughs> We now remember him as intercessor doon sa mga para mga imposible na nais nating mangyari. But that is why here in the Philippines, the shrine of St. Jude in Mendiola, in Manila, is flocked by people, especially students, asking for prayers, asking for intercession especially in times of examinations. And of course, there's a joke that, oh, you're not yet married, you're looking for somebody, you go to St. Jude, and probably he will help you. But of course, there's more than these, more than how we remembered them. Because these two shared, went out to share the gospel of Jesus. They both died in Beirut because of their faith. And so, as I said in the beginning of this Mass, these two are remembered because of their own merits, but also we remember them in celebrating Jesus Christ who called them in the gospel for today, very short gospel, not so much action was going on. But then after Jesus went to pray, he called his disciples. And later on, they were called apostles. Disciples who shared the life of Jesus. Disciples who lived with Jesus. And later on, disciples who were tasked to share the good news to others. And also in the beginning, you notice probably that I asked for prayer for one of our missionaries, Father Henry Shank, who will be remembered as missionary to Mindoro. And many people were led to Christ because of the life he lived, because of the way he witnessed the way he spread the good news to others. And so with this, we too consider ourselves as being called by God. How do you want to be remembered as a follower of Jesus? Are you passionate? 
about sharing Jesus? Are you also a prayer warrior, an intercessor for others that we pray for those people who are asking for our prayer, for those people who cannot pray for themselves? And in the end, these two apostles will be remembered as apostles of Jesus. People who were attracted by the Master, people who lived with the Master, and people who shared the good news until the time of their death. And so St. Simon and St. Jude intercede for us, pray for us, and help us also to become proclaimers of the good news, the good news of Jesus, the good news of our Savior. Amen.